Well, here we go. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. East Macedonia, Baptist Church, England, Arkansas, Pastor Clifton Hayes. Uh, we, members of Second Baptist, England, just wanted to encourage you during your anniversary services this year. We know that these are some very difficult and challenging times, uh, but we wanted to honor you, uh, Pastor, and just say uh, thank you again all that you do. Uh, scripture, just want to, Jeremiah 3 and 15, it says, and I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Uh, Pastor, you are, you have a very special calling on your life, and you should certainly be appreciated and encouraged as much as possible. I understand that a lot of pastors are changing leaving the vocation uh, because it's such a challenging and difficult job. But I want you to know that they that wait for the Lord, Isaiah 40 and 31, they that wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God is the one who has called you to this special purpose and calling again as a pastor and I want to encourage you because I believe that it's important that we know that God has your back. God knows the sacrifices that you make selfishly for the body of Christ and so it is the Lord who will renew your strength like the eagles. And even though you work hard, run ahead, leaving the church with God's help, you will not grow weary, and you will certainly not faint. Well, I want you to know that God has called you and given you special talents, skills, and a heart that the Lord wants for His people. God is the one who gives shepherds and leaders to feed the sheep. He gives pastors the knowledge, He gave you the knowledge and the understanding that you would need to feed the sheep of East Macedonia. I know that you get discouraged sometimes when things get rough. And, uh, you struggle with various trials. But I want you to remember that you are working for the Lord. Focus your labor that it is for the Lord and that your work in the Lord is not in vain. Although good seed is being planted, it can take some time for the seeds to grow and thrive. But I want you to know to hold fast to your hope, to your calling in the Lord Jesus Christ, knowing that in Him, good will win out in the end. Disappointments and challenges may come, but the Lord encourages all of us to be steadfast and unmovable, no matter what. But Galatians 6 and 9 says, And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So don't give up, Pastor. Hold on. Whatever you do, work hardly for the Lord, and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance of your reward, that one day you will hear him say, Well done, my good and faithful servant, Clifton Haynes. Well done. Come on up. I will make thee a ruler over men, and then you will be in the presence of the Lord and receive that great crown. In the name of Jesus, we pray, and we say happy anniversary. God love you. We love you too. Be blessed.